Hey guys, it's Bub here, and in this video we're taking a look at a newer release of a custom version of Windows known as WinGG1709. Now this is built off of obviously Windows 10 version 1709, and this aims to be a lightweight operating system for older computers that will promise higher frame rates on games on those older machines. As we know, Tiny10 already exists for this, so does Tiny11, so I'm very eager to see what this does, what this changes, um, but that's what we're going to go ahead and take a look at today. First things first, let's look at that background here. It's got like the new Windows 11 logo, but at the same time, it's obviously the Windows 10 setup. I have not taken a look at this yet. We're taking a look at this together for the first time. I'm very excited to see what comes out of it. Now this, this was actually only published back in May. I believe it was May 4th or May 2nd. Uh, that's what the archive.org page said. Someone had recommended it to me in the comments of one of my previous videos, so that's why we're taking a look at it here today. Um, to compare it to Tiny11 and Tiny10 to really see what this is all about. I will say that the ISO size is not tiny at all. It's actually 3.8 gigabytes. I mean, compared to Windows 11, which is currently sitting at, I believe, about 6 gigs, that's not bad at all, but it's still 3.6 gigabytes. All right, and here we are. So the first thing we're going to go ahead and do is install VMware Tools, since that is the number one thing that we need to enable a good video here. Um, but the first things that I'm going to notice right off the bat, or actually, let me save them until VMware Tools is installed, and then we'll get to those. All right, and here we go. So by default, let's look at the desktop here. We have this PC pinned by default, same thing with our cycle bin. The background is this custom Windows 11 background. I don't think it's official for Microsoft, although I could be wrong, but I do feel like I have seen it before. The taskbar is by default set to, I, I don't even know what this is called, the mini small taskbar buttons. I was about to call it mini mode there, um, which I'm not opposed to. I just personally don't like it. Um, but again, while we're looking at this operating system, I want you to keep in mind that this is Windows 10 1709, and I'll get to that point later in this video, but just remember what version of Windows we're looking at. Over here we have the Notification Center with all of our fun tools here. We then have the Time alongside our Volume, our Network Settings, and our System Tray. Moving over to the left side of the taskbar, we have the Windows Store, of course the older version. That is an interesting error. I can't tell if this is actually built into Windows or if this is something that has been done uh, in GGOS, but it says something bad happened. Unknown layout specified in manifest in yellow text. That is interesting. And we also have this, this PC here. Opening the start menu, again, we can see it does come with the Xbox app. I don't know why. I mean, I guess this, this OS is technically meant for, quote, gamers. Uh, if you want to call it that, I don't think I don't see a point including the Xbox app here. Um, you know, it just seems kind of stupid to me. But hey, it's each their own. Uh, by default, what's installed here is the calculator, settings, store, Windows accessories, which is your typical Windows accessories, uh, the Windows administrative tools. Again, all typical stuff we see in all kinds of custom builds of Windows. Windows ease of access, Windows PowerShell, and Windows System. All of these are what we typically see inside of custom builds, even the ones that promise to make a tiny version. Um, you know, I'm not quite sure you can get rid of these because I think they might actually be considered core components of Windows, which is crazy, but hey. Moving down, and then of course we have the Xbox app. Are we going to get an unknown manifest error here? Nope, it's just not going to launch. Okay. So I'm noticing a theme here is that a lot of apps are actually broken. Um, I mean, just so far, we've tried the Windows Store as well as the Xbox app, and they've both been broken. Can we get to, I don't know, let's say Paint. Okay, Paint still works. Um, it is the older version of Paint, which is to be expected. We can still get to Command Prompt. We can still get to, obviously, with the File Explorer. Uh, Task Manager, let's take a look in here. So this VM has a Core i7-10700K and 2 gigabytes of RAM. So we are using 5% CPU usage, 0.8 gigs of memory. That is actually not bad at all. I mean, I'm impressed at that. The, the memory usage, even the CPU usage, I mean, we're idling at 1% 1, 1 right now, now 2, now 6, now 20. <laughs> but hey, CPU usage is always weird like that with Windows. Then I want to take a look at the storage. So I gave this a 60 gig hard drive, and we're using roughly 9 gigs, which isn't bad. I can't remember what the original versions of Tiny10 did. I feel like Tiny10 was much more stripped down than this. 
um, if I recall correctly. I could be totally wrong though, but I mean, it's this is still very lightweight. But Tiny10 also used LTSC version of Windows, and this is using, uh, actually I want to go check that, what version this is. This is Windows 10 Pro 1709. So again, there's a difference there. LTSC is obviously going to be more bare bones out of the box because it is built for those custom enterprise users that need the long-term support. So it doesn't come with, you know, Candy Crush Saga like Windows 10 Pro does to this day, I believe. Um, so hey, there's that part. I am noticing that device performance and health is down. I would I like to assume, oh, I just noticed that the search bar is gone. We can't actually search start. Uh, Okay, so Windows Defender is still here, but it is off because, oh, can't check for updates. That's another thing I want to check while we're here is to see if Windows Update will actually work. Most custom builds disable the ability to download updates, um, but this one obviously did not. Uh, we've seen in modern builds, Windows goes, hey, you know, your updates are paused until 2030 or something like that. That's what custom ISOs will do so that the updates don't actually break the operating system. And what I'm seeing here though is that we're downloading all kinds of updates, including a feature update to Windows 10 22 H2. I have a doubt, or I have no feeling, I have no doubt that that is going to completely break this operating system. But I mean, that we are downloading a ton of updates here. So that, I mean, that's pretty cool. Um, but again, like I said, that top one and probably some of the other ones too are going to just destroy this operating system. It's the downside of running a custom version of this operating system. Uh, again, this is the default desktop background, so no additional space wasted there. And with that, I mean, we've pretty much taken a look at this entire operating system. Very bare bones, very light. I do like it, I will say. I mean, although those two glitchy apps being the Microsoft Store and the Xbox app, although it could, just based on my observation here, it could be something just wrong with the UWP apps in general. Um, something could be messed up back there with the framework of that because all your traditional Win32 apps work. I mean, even Math Input Panel, which works, I mean, I don't know what it's, took that one as an arrow. Even the Math Input Panel looks great. Okay, let's see if it'll do this. Okay. So that being said, this is that being said, this was GGOS 1709. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to subscribe if you're new around here as I do all kinds of different technology videos, including device restorations. And with that being said, I'll see you all in the next one.